Did y'all see this video when y'all had 40 million views? And our reactions were like, wow. I was surprised. I didn't even know that was coming. That was pretty crazy. Best shooters in my house. He just don't know it yet. There's no way in the world he's not going to be a better shooter than Steph Curry. You ain't never seen nothing like this from a third grader. Help me. It was great to win. Beat everybody, be number one. Stay at the top, play, walking around, people name in. Yeah, it's a jolly boy, so I don't take pictures with them. Can you get your autograph? My name is Henry. My name is Ashton. We're the Jolly Boys. And we play basketball. Every single day, they make 500 shots a piece. They get up at 6 in the morning, work out for about two hours, eat breakfast, do their schoolwork, eat lunch, work out another two hours, small break, then work out another two hours. I also think that it's helpful that he and I are both very into it. So we spend a lot of time with them. It's never a job or anything cumbersome for them because they're like, well, we just spend the time as a family together. The best thing about being homeschooled is we get more time than other kids in school. Like, we get six hours, they probably get like two hours. It's like my brother, when he come from school, he only got two hours to practice. We do jump soles, we do shooting, we do ball handling. Heavy ball. It's called the Trey Young drill, where you bounce it five times and then pass it. Then you do crossover and then the same thing three times, then you do between the legs and behind the back three times. And that's what Trey Young do. We start out with the heavy ball because you know you got to pound that ball. By the time we finish the heavy ball work, the arms are kind of tired, worn out. But now, when you pick up the regular size ball, the weight of it, it feels like nothing. It's like a resistant thing and it's a strength thing, so they get, they get strong every time they use that heavy ball. Another resistance type of thing, it's a strap go around your waist with a, a bungee cord that controls the basketball. You don't need a basketball goal, you don't need a partner at all. You can pass it, the ball and come back. You can shoot it, the ball come back. You ain't gotta spin it, go 10 reps. Make sure you write your pivot now, make sure you write your pivot, good. Good, perfect. Consistency is the key. Anything you do in life, you consistent with it, you got no choice but to succeed in it. What makes them stand out is their mental toughness. You'll never catch my kids ever crying in a basketball game. Or anything competitive, I mean, Somebody gonna win, somebody gonna lose. So they have the mental toughness to know it's just a game, although I wanna be the best and I, I do believe I'm gonna win. If I don't, it's okay. The message I would like to give to other like young kids or older is work hard, work super hard, try as best as you can at everything you do. My goal is to make the NBA and inspire other kids around the world. My goal is to get to the NBA, be in the Hall of Fame, uh, get my jersey retired, and pretty much stay in NBA. I don't want to be in the WNBA because I feel like I want to be challenged and be in the NBA. Same. I'm ready to see these two kids with some serious basketball skills. Hey, what's up? We're the world famous Hall of Globetrotters, and we're working with the Splash Sisters. So here come our two friends, the Splash Sisters. Yes. Yeah. When they had their first like recreation game, they combined for like 40 points. They rocked the same drill to Steph Curry. When people D you up, they're trying so hard. It's fun. Nike will send them gear. Nike will send them shoes. These are so cool. Their dedication, like all they wanted to do was play. Hi, my name is Kaylee. And my name is Maya. And, and we're, we're the Splash Sisters. sisters. So every Saturday morning we come to the gym and we start about 8.39 and then we run for about an hour, hour and a half. It's just fun working out with my dad and having like a father and daughter one time. We do footwork drills, handles drills. Head up, push yourself, push yourself, let's go hard. You should always go hard and that you shouldn't take breaks unless you really need them. I think it's very important for them to get the mental aspect of the game. Not only like learning the game by watching the film, but also being mentally tough. Game speed, push, 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 cross. Game speed is you go hard every single time like how you would play in a game. Game speed, head up, cross over, yeah. So shooting was a big focus this summer because you see a lot of the girls in the circuits in club teams don't really have the proper form, so we try to focus on that. Your elbow needs to be tucked in, like it needs, it needs to, to be a swing and have an L, like a kind of like a duck shape. We kind of put him into game-like situations. Lately he's been teaching us how to do our in and out and mostly working on shooting. 
because usually we play on the wing or point guard so that we can shoot and make our threes. I like the games when we're shooting. Five on each side, person who makes the most doesn't have to run with each other. They can play together, and at times, they're very competitive with each other. Who's more competitive? Me. No. No. I am more competitive. I am more competitive, like way more competitive than her. My dad first came up to us and told us the Splash Sisters because of the Splash Brothers, and we just decided to make an Instagram page. I think it was just a name I just gave him, like, oh, Splash Sisters. So I just kind of started posting videos, two ball dribbling, being able to figure eight with two balls at the same time. Like, hey, this is kind of cool when we post it. When I see other kids comment on me and my sister, page. I feel good that I'm inspiring people and influencing them. All right, girls, let's eat. Let's grab. Come on, guys. Time to eat. So I think basketball in general has so many life skills that you can apply to your school, your everyday life, work, career path. And for me, I think they're developing a lot of great characteristics. Want to cut your mm -hmm. Okay. Long-term goals for me is to go to college and be a professional basketball player. For me is to be a WNB basketball player and maybe an NBA basketball player and succeed in my school. I like for them to earn an athletic scholarship, go play ball, go to college, get an education, graduate, and then if they still want to pursue basketball at that point, I'm all for it. Or if they have a desire to be a teacher, a doctor, or start their own business, I'm all for that as well. Are y'all twins? Are y'all twins? Are y'all twins? Let's all be here every day. Are you twins? Why don't you just look at us? We are twins. I'm not getting paid to train these kids. The more kids I can train, the more kids I can teach boxing, the less chance one of them kids pick up a gun and shoot one of my kids or another kid. <laughs> We're the Grandy Twins and we box. I like hitting the bag. Look, boom, boom, step around. What's that? With those two, it's kind of an easy situation because they push each other all day long. So there's really no push I can give them that they're not giving each other. Push, 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 push. My dad he wants me to do pads with my brother. Sometimes he tells me what to do, sometimes I tell him what to do. Always be on your toes. If you're not on your toes, your punches ain't gonna be fast. What's your drink? My brother is like my coach and it's like he's just sitting there telling me what to do. He helps me learn to be better by teaching me how to throw faster punches. He always hit me with the pad and I just make him go faster. He can't even catch up to my speed. Fighters pick their, their, their style inside the ring. It has nothing to do with the coach. If the coach has any IQ or boxing, they understand that you can't teach everybody the same way. You gotta, you gotta fit the fighter. It's like driving a car. So we kind of spar daily. Because if you don't spar all the time, how you know how better you're getting? Pay attention, okay? Up, down, hands, be first. And if you're waiting too much, box. You're smart, box. Let them be the aggressive, you box. You know what I'm saying? Use your legs. If you're not okay with the physical contact part about it, you're going to get punched. This is boxing. You're going to get punched. 99% of people in the world don't know what to do when they get punched in their face. They retreat to the ground. They fall. So you can't teach that. So either you got it or you don't. He won back the ring, the ring side world championship. This is mine. This is the biggest medal that we have in here. This is longer than mine. <laughs> Mine's bigger plate. <laughs> After we come home from school, we ride our bikes, and sometimes after we're done boxing, we come home and ride our bikes. I gotta keep my hands safe or else I can't go to work. The burnout process in boxing is real, I've seen it. Where kids start off super duper good, and then by the time they're 15, 16, they don't want to box no more. I don't want it to become to where, all right, this is all you know and this is all you better do. Because we're talking about 10 year olds. They might not choose boxing as being a fighter. They might choose to be a coach. Might choose to be a commentator, but if you push it, push it on them too much, like to the point where it overwhelms them, they'll step away from the sport completely. I'm not one of those parents where I'm trying to live through my children. I'm not looking to gain nothing on my children. And they went on and it made a billion dollars. They don't owe me nothing. I did this from the heart. I don't want anything from them. It's not about that. This is literally giving them an opportunity at life that wasn't offered to me.